Hello, not by land or sea tubers, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy V for the Game Boy Advance with me, Blue Ankylo. So, as I was saying at the end of last episode, I spent a little bit of time, uh, just a little bit of teeny bit of grinding. I will try to do what grinding I feel is necessary, I will try to do uh, between episodes, although I will attempt to not grind a whole lot in this game just to keep the challenge, you know, consistent. Um, I don't think it's fair to um, overlevel too much. Anyway, all we really did was level up uh, our Thief to level 2, which taught us the Flea Command, which uh, lets you just run from most battles. Not boss battles, but you just immediately escape, which is kind of spoony. Uh, and then I put Bart's back to Monk, and I did the same thing with uh, Lena and Ferris. I just switched them back. So they got to level 3 Black Mage, I switched them back to White, or level 3 White, switched them back to Black. Once they've got level 2 or 3 White and Black, I might give them some uh, Blue Mage, maybe. Um, there's not a whole lot of other magical abilities that I can give them right now if I if I level them up in, in the Knight, Monk, or Thief. What I was hoping for with Thief uh, was that I would learn the Dash ability, but um, that must be a higher level than 2, so at some point we'll be able to, to equip the Dash ability to somebody else, which would be nice. Anyway, so seeing as we can't travel by land or sea, have you guys have you guys solved the riddle yet? It's really complicated. Uh, we need to travel by air, and uh, to do that, we're gonna go look for some flying critters, which uh, apparently might live up in the north in that forest where there's poisonous flowers. Uh, these guys are kind of jerks, so we'll just use a little bit of magic on them. Early on. Um, Having the black magic really does speed things up a lot. Um, oh yes, I I haven't tested it out yet, but remember I was... Oh, you have to do it individually? I thought it worked for the whole team, like most of the Final Fantasy games. Oops. So switching row is an uh, individual problem. Yeah, that sucks. But uh, yeah, I want to compare how our new sword does compared to a, um, a monk's damage. So I did also change Galif back to uh, just normal knight, not a barehanded fighter. But I gave him focus from um, from the monk abilities, which should give him a really good, powerful attack, actually, because it it takes a little bit of extra time and you get double the damage. But remember, with fists, it only like you got two hits out of your fists. This only applied to the first hit. Um, with your sword, you only get one hit, so um, it'll apply the entire bonus to your attack rather than just half your attack. Some such. Um, let's see how Cure is looking on the group, if we AoE it. Nice to always have this number in my head. About 40 each, not terrible. So a normal physical attack is doing about 120, 130 from fists. And with the sword, very, very similar. So, that's the new sword that we bought in town. That's the uh, long sword. It puts your knights on a pretty even footing with the monks, so... There you go. As we get better weapons, knights will probably do more damage eventually. Also, I suppose, to be fair, um, I think the monks get a slightly larger strength bonus than knights do. But knights are also much more defensive with shields and everything. Knights are probably better most of the time. Anyway, welcome to, uh, I didn't even read the name of it, but the mountain. Should we, uh, Libra some of these things? It's pretty cheap, might as well, right? So we got a rock slug with 120 HP, it's weak to fire, and a flying cat. Well, it's a cat with fake wings. Some sort of ninja cat. That's not enough damage. Let's just see how much damage the focus can do, just for fun. Fire should kill the uh, rock slugs. Yeah, not bad. Well, kind of bad, I guess. There you go, 230 damage from your special. So if we're ever fighting a boss that has like a counter attack, which there will be some, that's the kind of ability you're gonna want. Make sure this mouse cursor's out of the way. Alright. I guess we'll use some magic here, although it's not that impressive. That did more damage. Hmm. I guess the uh, the black mage probably gets a higher magic stat than a white mage, so that makes a bit of sense, maybe. What is the name of this place, anyway? I forgot. Did it say at the top of the screen when we started? 
North Mountain. Well, it doesn't have a very good name anyway, I guess. Oh, also, if you want to check for Cat Scratch, you jerks. Um, if you want to check for, like, um, secret passages, you either need a thief or you have to equip that fine passage ability. Which is a good idea if, if you're not following a walkthrough or uh, a let's play. Oops, I should have kicked there. Eh, yeah, getting some levels up. Not bad. Um. Could use a little bit of healing here. Kind of burning through my MP faster than I was expecting just because I uh, restarted this a couple of times. There was something I was going to look at, and then I like. I've totally forgotten what I was going to do here. Oh, right, right, right. I gave him cover, but uh, I'd rather have him be able to see passages most of the time. Just in case there was, like, now I don't have to go pushing against all the walls. If I don't see those white slash lines, then you know, um, there's just nothing to waste your time on, basically. No need to waste time. Now, we will eventually have weapons for our mages that you can use as an item to do magic damage. Uh, so that they can do a little bit better than their 10 damage physical attack. I'm still not sure how that cat is flying. Just hovering in the air with its, like, grass wings. Gold needle, that's... I did buy... Did I mention that? I bought... I think I showed that on camera. I bought a bunch of, uh... Status ailment... Curers. Oh, we do have a new enemy here, I guess. Let's, uh, Libre it. Oh, they're immune to fire. That's great. 50 HP, weak to lightning. Alright. Maybe fairly defensive? Nah, not enough. If they only have 50 HP, then uh, just a normal attack is more than enough. Okay, if I remember correctly, this is not a very long dungeon, so don't worry too much, guys. I know we had a slow start there on that first floor, but, like, it won't drag on too much longer. I can almost guarantee it. Burns is starting to do some pretty good damage there, though. Rock Slug! The most dangerous enemy anyone could ever encounter. We could simply walk away from it. Feels like the monk is doing more damage now, doesn't it? Good work, Lena. You finished him off. Nothing up there, of course. Now, this area is not as cool as Mount Colt, if you remember Final Fantasy VI, but, uh, it's alright. Let's try Sleepy Time! Think it'll work? I didn't see anyone fall asleep if it did work. Oops, let's, uh, kick it up. You didn't even hit the one you were supposed to hit that would kill it. Ah, the mighty monk. We are definitely taking some good damage here. This is because I haven't leveled up all that much. <laughs> Trying to go into here at the right levels, so... Totally fair, totally fair. Okay, the encounter rate though, let's try running. There we go. Saved a bit of time, I guess. Oh yeah, now watch out! Those purple flowers are poisonous. And I just poisoned everybody. Now, we do have uh, the ability to fix that without too much trouble though. Can't multicast this one, but it's fairly cheap. But, you know, try to avoid the purple flowers, basically. We'll try thunder and fire combo, see if it works. I probably don't even need to use the fire, but it's okay. Let's do a little bit of healing here, quick. 
Oops, I didn't mean to do that, but... It's okay, we got lots of uh, mana to burn. So careful here. There's clouds and there's poison flowers. You know, try to avoid them. Oh, these guys are new. Cockatrice. Probably can turn you to stone. That sounds like fun. It's probably why they give you those, uh... Uh, what are they called? Uh, gold needles earlier. That was not very much damage. Apparently birds are pretty good at uh, evasion. Typical birds. Alright, Barts can focus now. Um, I'm not going to change anything. I could give Galuff a different job. I'm not sure if I'm going to also have him a thief. Like, I probably only need one person with thief skills. And I don't really intend on him doing much magic. So it's kind of monk or knight, and I'd rather have one of each at the moment, so we'll just leave him like that. Oh look! This is why I didn't care about spending all my magic points. We still haven't hit the really difficult part. Still kind of in the early section of the game. Alright, does this mean there's a boss battle? Or a cutscene? Oh no, it's a helmet! It's Father's helmet! Where did that- Oh, well, she's dead. Lena has been struck by a poisoned arrow. Lena! Oh, wait, what? Now the ground is collapsing? No! I came here after that Windrake! But seems like I've caught something even more valuable! Wait, you're hunting a Windrake? Of course! Their horns fetch quite a high price on the black market! Oh, there's like one left in the entire world, she's hunting it. And I see I've caught the... I've caught no less than a princess of Tycoon! Yes, you'll make a lovely souvenir for my husband. Let her go, you addle pated foul complexion scuffla! Alright, Ferris just jumps it. It's just pretty bad. Alright, now she's dead too. Okay, two down. White mage down, black mage down. Now what? Oops, guess he slipped. Pity. Oh, right, Ferris is badass. You think a fall from that height can kill me? Also, I could have just done this from the beginning. Here's a rope. Lena, hang on! An <laughs> we just encouraged her and now she's totally okay. Oh, annoying little twerps! Ruining my plan! Fine! Just means I'll have to crush all four of you. So, there you go. Hello, Magissa. Uh, I guess we should leave her her first. Level A, 650, that's all we get. So what you can do if you expect a boss battle coming up is um, immediately... I guess I should get rid of the poison. Um, unequip abilities that are for like exploration, like the find passages. So I could have put Bart's back onto focus or cover or something. And he would have more... More useful skills he could... <sighs> he could have had more useful combat abilities that um, we didn't need at all. So, uh, thanks for the whip. You're pretty dead. <laughs> thanks, Ferris. Wow, that was, that was great. Um, alright, well, we'll leave the jobs as they are for now. North Mountain, 8th Station, sure. Uh, I don't think anyone can equip that whip yet, by the way. Yeah, it looks like no one can actually even equip a whip, but we'll hold on to it. Oh, there's... Oh, hey! Widden Drake slash Wyvern. It's her, you! He's hurt pretty bad. Ferris is really good with animals, by the way. Even whether they fly or swim you. Don't worry, I'll take care of you. Oh no, Lena! 
Where are you going? Don't come any closer. I'll be fine. Just must reach the dragon grass. I always thought you could like burn the poison flowers and then this would be a lot easier, but all right. Give the dragon grass to bear you quickly. And then Lena dies. Please get well. So that was like the last piece of dragon grass for the last wyvern or wind drake. That's basically like the end of the species right here, but my stars and garters! You're out of your gourd, young lady! That was insanely reckless! But did you know... ...that Windrakes have another special power? They can heal girls of poisoning! Thank you! Looks like you're both hale and hearty again! Let's saddle up! Uh-huh, Bart shakes his head. <laughs> Actually, I uh, yeah, don't really like heights. Mostly I just don't want to fly on the back- Oh, you guys laugh? You're gonna put four people in the back of this Windrake and fly around off this mountaintop? And you're laughing because I'm worried? <laughs> Your face, kiddo. Anyway, get on. <laughs> you're gonna die. What a wuss, being afraid of climbing on, climbing on top of this Windrake's back. What a mean group of people we have with us today. Laughing at us for not wanting to do this exactly. Alright, but seriously, we don't have to worry about it. The the Wind Drake is perfectly safe. He can't fly over mountains, but he can fly over most stuff. So this, of course, means we can't go everywhere yet, unlike you might expect. Uh, we can fly, but we can't just fly around the world. So, you can, if you look... Our area is kind of ringed by mountains, <laughs> conveniently, um, which kind of puts a limit on where we can go. We're supposed to go to this thing. This is where the wind shrine or water shrine is. Before we go there, though, we will want to um, visit these areas. This is the. I can't remember the name of them, but those are the water cities. Um, we're also gonna. I'll just explore right now. We'll go explore the city probably on the next episode. Let's see. Is there anything else in between here? I think... I don't think there's anything around here, to be honest. Just... Just some area you can level grind in for a while. We should be able to find our canal, yeah. So we could fly right back to the starting area now. And that means... We should... Be able to fly back to Lena's castle. Let me just check that out. We shouldn't be able to go much further west or south because of, you know, mountain shenanigans. But, oh, what's up here? It's a castle. Let's just see what happens if we check this castle out. We, we skipped our quest to go back to Castle Tycoon. Thanks, heavens, you're back safe. The Chancellor wishes to speak with you. Yeah, we might as well go talk to him, I guess. It's not like you have to go here, but well, why not? All the people rejoice, for Prince Elena was not murdered by monsters. The goblins nearly got her, but... See, this is definitely, when we're exploring towns, definitely when you want that thief with the, uh... dashing and the fine passaging. Guard, out of my way! I am the princess! Get out of my way, you... Sure. Got pretty cool music for the castle, though. Anyway, I don't think there's a whole lot we can do here, to be honest, but let's go inside. Kind of reminds me of, um, what's it called? Uh, Super Mario RPG. One of those music themes. Princess Lena! Uh, forgive me, uh, I didn't mean to worry you. No need to fret about that now, but please, you must return to the palace. Our guard has been severely weakened by monster raids. There's no way we can recover without our princess. Uh, I'm sorry, I can't stay. Princess! You have a responsibility to the kingdom. You're literally the only one in line to the crown right now. Uh, yes, but uh, more importantly, I have a responsibility to the world. Right now we're uh, all in danger. Uh, what is more, father is still alive. Probably, even though I found his helmet and he seemed to die. But I, uh... Well... 
I don't want to be princess anymore, I guess. I understand, Princess Lena. We will protect the kingdom, I swear it. Ha <laughs> ha! And I swear to return and bring father back. Until then, please hold things together here. There's gonna be a, uh... Well, she's gonna lose control of her. There's gonna be, like, a, a rebellion here. She's gonna lose her castle. For now, will you at least stay the night? I guess. Might as well, uh... Enjoy the comfy beds and the comforts of a full palace staff. Uh, tossing and turning at night. Oh, uh, hey Ferris, what's up? What are you doing out here? Hmm, ah, uh, Lena, it's late. You should be in bed. So should you, sister! Wait, what? I'm right, aren't I? You're my older sister. <laughs> what are you going on about? Me? You're... That's daft. But... Besides, a buccaneer like me, really a prince, or a uh, princess, yeah. It is a bit much, that. Yar. <laughs> Uh-huh. <laughs> hmm. But you're pendant. Only princesses like me have those pendants. There's no way you could have robbed it from my real sister. Bart. Bart. <laughs> what? Seriously, what? Ah! Where'd you guys come from? What in tarnation are you doing, kid? I think he's a few men short of a full crew. Hmm. Bart's has always been an interesting character. They never really explain what's going on in his head. Anyway, after that amazing cutscene, uh, let's explore the castle and steal all their loot. Chancellor's gone outside. Hmm. Oh, the king's Drake made it. That's wonderful. Yeah, where's the king? Yeah, the chancellor's going a bit crazy. As chancellors always do when the entire royal family ditches them. We just sit here. King Bart's. Just looking outside. Fair bit of castle to explore. Check out her uh, bed, you know, it's cool. She wouldn't mind, probably. Let's go upstairs first. The king's chamber! What? But this is like. He could be dead! What if he left a note for us in there? Besides, I'm the princess! I go where I want to go! Well, that's. convenient. Ooh, pots everywhere! Some ether? Good, we found the drugs, guys. And the super drugs. All kinds of goodies. And this is where uh, the old man flew off. Probably the Windrake's, like, uh, cage, I guess. They just lock him in there normally. I get the feeling that's all for the upper area. I do have, uh... Yeah, I've got fine passages equipped, so if there were any, I would see them. I don't have to check every wall. But we haven't been this way yet, have we? Totally not. Jenica, I don't know who you are. I've served in this castle for quite some time. I looked after both Princess Lena and Princess Sarissa. What? Wait, Sarissa? Yeah, Princess Lena's older sister. Sarissa was sailing with her father when a storm hit and she was lost at sea. The most responsible parent ever. I mean, they leave cottages in their barrels. 
and probably the 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 uh, what's it called uh, sea serpent Sildra had nothing to do with saving Cerissa's life, if she's even alive. Look, okay, the plot for this game isn't terribly complicated yet. Just give it some time. Just give it some time. It's no Final Fantasy VI, guys. Alright, where is this Chancellor, anyway? Hurry back! I don't know the details of your quest, but good luck! Well, what a... convenient s castle. Everyone seems so kind and... willing to... Give me stuff to loot. That's what I really needed. The storehouse! Yoink. Hey, that sounds good. Uh, that sounds fun. Princess, this staff has been kept in your family for generations. Take it. I'm sure you can find use for it. Aw, oh, thanks! The diamond bell. That's not even a staff, is it? That is totally a bell. Oh, there was the healing staff. Oh, he gave us the healing staff. Okay. It's just the chest had a diamond bell in it. He had... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, it makes perfect sense now. He had the treasure from that chest. So if, you, if you've been wondering, Lena is really supposed to be the healer. <laughs> this thing doesn't even do any damage. How does that work? Oh, can we... I don't think we can equip the Asura. No, we'll need to be a different class for that one. Uh, does it tell you? Katana, named after the Avatar of War. Hmm. And a diamond bell. We'll talk about that once we get the class that can equip those. Or the job, whatever. Unlike Final Fantasy III, I'm not sure if uh, Geomancers are going to turn out that great. Anyway, thanks for the excitement there. I think that's probably all the side questing we have to do at this phase in the game. Uh, I'll think about it a little bit for a second. We already went back to the pirate hideout. We could probably tell um, the dude in the, the first town that we survived the canal, although we lost our boat. We could tell the pirates that our boat is gone, but I don't think they will care. There might be some dialogue if we talk to the dude up here. That's why we'll do that quick. You know, everyone was so scared of the pirates, but they didn't even try to attack a ship. Yeah, they're not... They're not really very good pirates, to be honest. Yeah, the pirates just went home. But yeah, it's possible this guy will say something. Let's just check. Zok. Yeah, just take care of yourself. Nothing special. So, with that... Anything else I could check in on? I mean, there are some more, um... People... Oh, don't mind those things over to the west there. That's probably nothing. Um, nothing to do with the crystals at all. We could check in with this place one more time. Oh, good. Instantly attacked. Um... Well, this will be quick. I just want to show you what the uh, staff does. Can we use it? We sure can. Can't multi-target, but... Oh, no, you can't. Never mind. I was doing it wrong. I thought you could use it to cast Cure, but... Let's try it the other way around, where you attack someone with it. Ta-da! Now you know why I went back to the castle. I knew it was worth getting. So that's, uh, like a free Cure 2, probably. We don't even have Cure 2, so... Not bad. Now, if you hit an enemy, you will heal them. So you gotta be careful. Alright, these guys are still here. We didn't talk to them after we got to the top. I just ditched them. We will stay here and pray that the crystal may somehow be restored, maybe. Machine must have overloaded the crystal. Hmm. Hmm. The crystals in Walsh and Karnak are hooked up to the same amplification machine. Well, who built these amplification machines? They've ruined the world. They've 
They've already destroyed one crystal, maybe they'll destroy the rest of the crystals. And if we can believe what the old people say, um, that means the end of the world. Like, we'll all die. So that's pretty terrible. Anyway, uh, there's nowhere else to go. Right? Yeah. Now, I did mention earlier, you can fight some interesting enemies. I guess, let's see if I can get one of those to show up. Could have fought these earlier just by landing our ship around here. In fact, we had a ship. Oh, these are just goblins. But somewhere, it doesn't matter really, but there are some like tiger type monsters that are pretty tough. And you can use them early on to gain some XP and uh, some job points more importantly, but whatever. The, the exact location of them doesn't matter much. But for now, let's end the episode. Thanks for watching, folks. Hope you've enjoyed. Next time, we'll explore this city. Hope you... I've totally messed my ending up. You know, just see you next time. <laughs>